make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lindsay underscore Lou one two on Twitter at LNG Games and on Roblox at Lindsay Lou one two. Links will be down in the description below. Hello, my name is Lindsay, and before we get started with the video, today's comment shout out goes to Red underscore Liquid. If you'd like to be a comment shout out, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification. And you might become the next comment shout out. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. For today's video, we are going to review the new Gothic Cutie set. We do this with every set that comes out here in Royal High. I give you guys an honest review with my opinion. So please do not find anything I say in this video offensive. My reviews are usually good because I love Royal High sets. One disclaimer I want to make though, I know that the creator for plays of the set said this is not the Halloween set, so that probably means we're getting another set. However, I would like to point out that the description does say only available for purchase during the spooky season, so I am going to consider it one of the Halloween sets because I feel like it deserves that title because it's only available to purchase during October. So, yeah, I'm going to consider it like Halloween 2021 set number one if we get another one. And if we don't get another one, I'm going to consider it the official Halloween set. Okay, review time. One thing I just, I love, love about this set is how customizable it is, like the skirt itself you can have it so it fits you know the torso or you can wear a belt only or you can wear a skirt so it fit fits the roblox body you know because the roblox body is square and you can wear it so it fits that or and like you can change it so it fits the bodice and oh my gosh that's like a lifesaver right there we this is a game changer i bet you in the future most skirts do this because i just feel like that's a game changing set option just like when ready to teddy came out with the first masculine version of a set ever since then we've been getting masculine versions in every set so yeah i just feel like this is another game changer and i love it and i hope they continue with this okay so real quick i'm going to change the skirt to be belt only because the shoes can we talk about how customizable these shoes are. I mean, they can be tall. And if you don't like them tall, you can make them to be regular boots. So, Rockstar pants. They're still tall, of course. And then, you know, the regular pants are tall. But you can change them to be shorter. And I really like that. Because I know a lot of people didn't like how tall the boots were. They wanted them to be shorter. And now they have that option. So, like, oh my gosh. And you can make them even shorter to be even more regular size boots. So, these heels literally have three tall length. They have, I'm going to call it small, medium, and like large or small, tall, taller. I don't, I don't know. But yeah, so you can be as tall as you want in these boots. And I really, really love that and appreciate that fur plays thought about how people might not want to be so tall. So, you know, we got three height lengths and very appreciative. Like, again, is that, should be another game changing design. <laughs> And we got pants, you know, we've been wanting pants in Royal High for a long time. We've been wanting it in Royal High so long. We made the tea party heels, you know, the tights. We've been putting on the denim pattern to make them into pants. But now we have official pants and, you know, we should be happy about that. And that is all of the customization for the feminine version. I know I probably say that word oddly, but... It's a tongue twister for me, so I apologize. Okay, so let's take a look at the masculine version. We have quite a few masculine versions of sets now, but the masculine version for the Gothic Cutie, I feel like has the most customizational options. So let's change our body type. And I guess it's called what? The boy package is what Roblox calls it. Roblox boy. Okay, so for the masculine version, the skirt only has two tog options. You can have it with the belt 
or you can have it skirt and belt. So only two options with the masculine version. And then, of course, the pants, though, has quite a bit of toggable options. We got, you know, rock star pants. We got regular pants. Then we got, again, the shorter version. And then, again, another shorter version. And then we got pants with the shortest version. So there are less toggable options than the Phantom version. But it still has a lot. And can I say I really love this jacket? Like... I love how it pays attention to the other sets. We got Shadow Empress and Royal Rebel. And then we got a Hothead and we have RH. So people are predicting that there's going to be, you know, another Halloween set. <laughs> what if it's called Hothead? I'm just kidding. I know that that's probably just a random sticker. But yeah, I love this jacket. So I'm going to give this set a score of a 9 out of 10. One, because of how much customizational options there are, and also two, because it is so cheap. It is under 100,000 diamonds. It's 97,000 diamonds. I think the only other set that's under 100,000 diamonds is the Darling Valentina set. So yeah, we don't have very many sets under 100,000 diamonds. So it's kind of nice because, I mean, as of right now, new players, let's see, they have, what, three sets to grind for this month. Like, brand new players who are very starting out has three sets to grind for. And people are assuming we're going to get another set because, you know, Fur Play says this is not the Halloween set. So people are assuming, oh my gosh, we're getting a new Halloween set. That means there's going to be four sets brand new players have to try and get this month. In addition to the new items coming soon to the candy store. <laughs> I wonder if we'll get old items. Imagine new players having to get all of these sets plus old and new candy store items. Oh my gosh, the stress. So yeah, but again, this says it is only available purchase during spooky season. So I'm going to call it one of the Halloween sets because I feel like it deserves the honor of having that title. You know what I mean? So let me know how you feel about these sets. And make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell and notification. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!